There are, in fact, 206 bones in the skeleton. The recovery of a skeleton due to the sheer volume of material is going to be a very complex task indeed. Size isn't really going to be of much help to us. It is going to be the form or the morphology, as we say. Plus, consider that this is an intact skeleton. When you have skeletons that have been subjected to any sort of trauma, could it be explosion, could it be gunshot wounds, whatever, you are going to have skeletal elements that are fragmentary. So again, the size isn't really going to be that much of an issue. One of the keys to being able to recognize bone is first getting familiar with their shape. If we start out by looking at these different shapes and you becoming familiar with them, you will be much more successful in the field during the recovery. Short bones are just as they sound, fairly short and compact, yet somewhat rounded. Next are long bones. Again, very simple idea. The bones are much longer than they are in their diameter, and these are typically found in the limbs, both upper and lower. The classic definition of a flat bone we would find in the skull, because the bones covering the brain are flat indeed. Irregular bones are neither short nor flat nor long. They are in fact a composite of all three of these different types. So irregular bones, as far as excavation and collection are concerned, may be amongst the easiest to recognize because they can't be confused with anything else.